Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks to the generosity of one of my local subscribers here, we are going to get to try out a ReadyWise emergency supply bucket. Of course, I'm not going to make everything in it, but we are going to test out some of the items that I know I like and see how we like ReadyWise food. I've not tried their food from this bucket, so today, let's check it out. All right, folks, welcome back. So I wanted to um, do this taste test today. I had uh, a couple of weeks ago, and sorry I took so long to get to it. A couple of weeks ago, I had a local subscriber here drop off this bucket and want me to taste test some of it. Um, he's thinking about getting more. He wants to see what I think of it. And we will be testing a lot more as the weeks go on. But today, I'm just going to try out two of the entrees and see what I think of it. Um, but I do want to show you what's inside of it because to some extent... These are a pretty good deal. Now, this one runs 96 bucks. You can buy it over on Amazon. I have a link to it um, in my Amazon store if you're interested. Uh, 124 servings plus four bonus servings of fruit and pudding. It does have up to a 25-year shelf life, and the seal on these bags is very good. Um, I've already been through it. As you can tell, I already tore it open to see what was in there. I was a little confused when I opened up the thing because I'm like, well, that's great, but how do you prepare any of this? Because the bags are marked but they're kind of hard to read. They're like, you know, a black bag with black print on it. it says, this is this, you know, that's it. There's no other stuff on there. So it was kind of hard to read. But then as I dug down further, I found the list of cooking instructions. The only thing that, my only complaint with these big buckets is sometimes they overstate the calories per day. And sometimes they're difficult to prepare smaller amounts. If I get a big thing of like, say, uh, macaroni and cheese, maybe I don't want to make that whole big thing. Maybe I only want to make one serving. Well, this one kind of does the same thing. So you will have to, uh, like with the, here we got maple sugar, multigrain uh, oatmeal. Uh, you got to bring three and one half cups to a boil. So that's doing the whole thing. If you're cooking for a family, that's probably fine. But if you're cooking for just yourself, you kind of want to do the math and take these down a little bit. As far as water goes, these are very accurate. I have seen Ready Wise stuff made before. Whatever they say to use is water. It's not like Mountain House where if they say use two cups, you use a cup and a half. This is pretty dead on. Okay, what I'm going to do is give you a little information on this. Um, and then we're going to open it up and I'm going to show you everything that comes inside. Because there's a lot of food in here, actually. It was, I was kind of shocked. These are multi-use. They're all food ready to eat in there. You just simply have to boil it, essentially. It's all-in-one survival food kit. It can be stored in your home or your vehicle, however. 25-year shelf life. Um, but one of the things I like with dehydrated and freeze-dried food is it's a little more resistant to temperature swings. Regular canned food, it'll get pretty bad pretty quick if you let it out in heat. This, if I have it out in the garage here for a while, it gets hot in the summer, gets cold in the winter, probably be fine, you know. Another nice feature, again, 25 years shelf life okay very easy to stack you can buy a couple of these and stack them away and you'll be pretty pretty well prepared um, again if i had to estimate on this conservatively i would say this is probably a 15 day supply for one person and that's going on about 1800 to 2000 calories a day so two of these for one person would give you 30 days worth of food um, and again too you're going to have to remember that you're going to have to cut down your preparation instructions now for today's use I'm going to be real simple. We're just going to make the whole thing, you know. But in the future, I want to show folks how to maybe cut it down a little bit, too. So we'll still be messing around with it later on. I'm going to figure out how to do these in smaller, smaller portions. So you have everything stored, as I said, in four serving pouches. Each pouch has four servings. You got 124 complete survival foods packed away, ready for you to uh, use whenever you need them. You got lunch, dinner, fruit, desserts, drinks. So it is a very convenient way of putting away emergency food. It's also a little more expensive than buying canned food a little at a time. So I do want to make folks aware of that. But it is very convenient. You know, as somebody who doesn't want to become a mega prepper with a storeroom and everything, right? You live in an apartment in a big city. You don't have a lot of room. Maybe you got a little corner in your closet. You can buy two or three of these things and you got yourself, you know, with a little stove and some water storage. You got yourself, uh, you know, pretty good, pretty good uh, preparedness plan, at least as far as food goes. So let's open the box up. Let's see what's inside. All right. So here's everything that's inside. And honestly, this all this gold is reminding me of like a NASA um, satellite getting ready to be launched. It looks like that foil. So what we got here is yogurt, pasta, Alfredo, whey milk alternative, vanilla pudding. OK, we have what's that again? Banana slices, cheesy macaroni, which we're going to try today. The 
um, uh, beef stroganoff, which we're going to try today. Brown maple sugar um, cereal. In the back here, apple cinnamon cereal. Over here, tomato basil soup. That's orange drink, as I said. And creamy pasta with vegetables. You got two of those. Chicken flavored noodle soup. And back here is the apple cinnamon cereal. So that's everything that comes in there. That's a whole lot of food. What we're going to do today is take this down to just two of the entrees. I want to try the macaroni and cheese because that's kind of how I judge freeze-dried foods and buckets and stuff. If the macaroni and cheese is kind of good, probably everything else is pretty good too. And we are going to try the stroganoff because that's another one of my favorites. See how we like it. See how it is. And we'll move from there. So let me clean up this mess and uh, we'll get that stuff on the water going. Again, I'm not going to bring you along for the whole cooking thing i'm just going to show you how i'm going to cook it and what we're going to use and then i'll bring you back once it's ready to be eaten so let me clean up my mess here get the stove set up and we're ready to go all right we got our little uh little stove here our little uh Luxata clone <laughs> stove here that's actually a Savea clone of a Luxata clone anyway it boils water really quick i got four cups of water in here we're doing the cheesy macaroni first and according to the guidelines it says four cups of water for that and a bunch of their other stuff Put it on here and get it running. I'm going to show you really quick where I got the info from. Let me show you really quick here. You can see up here for all these entrees, four cups of water to a boil. Add the contents to the pouch and the water and stir. Turn up the heat. Let stand for 20, 15 to 12 to 15 minutes and then cover and let cool two to three minutes before serving. So we're going to let that boil. I'm going to pour in the stuff. We're going to try it out, let it sit, and I'll bring you back when it's actually ready to eat because it's going to be kind of boring if I sit here and make you wait through it. <laughs> anyway, bring you back in a few minutes. All right, we've got boiling water, that's for sure. Make sure you take out your uh, desk compact before you put it in there. We're going to dump this whole thing in. We're going to stir it up while it's boiling, okay? I break up all the cheese in there. <laughs> cheese sauce tastes good. And cover it up, turn it off, and let it sit. Okay, we're gonna let that sit now for 10 to 15 minutes or 12 to 15 minutes. We're gonna stir it occasionally. While we're waiting for this to come, you know, ready, we're gonna start up the savory stroganoff. So give me a few minutes to get all that ready, and we'll start up the stroganoff. All right, got my one cup of water in here for the stroganoff. Get that key out of there. We'll let that boil. We'll keep stirring this and see how it's doing. I'm gonna move that handle out of the way there. Keep stirring it up. It's starting to thicken up a little bit. Okay. Bring you back when that's ready. All right, we got boiling water here, obviously. Let's dump this in. I'm going to let you know an interesting thing I found out while I was doing this. Hang on one sec. Let me stir it up good. And I'm going to take the heat off. Okay. And you can use a whisk to do this if you don't want to use a spoon. I just had that out. You turn off the heat. go now here's something interesting i'm gonna mix that up some more after i'm done talking to you guys on the um sheet here you can see that stroganoff style beef bring one cup water to a boil right I pull this out and it says bring four cups of water to a boil so it pays to read the instructions i do have a little more in there i have to get in there for some reason this lid doesn't fit on this pot anymore um happened way before I did this video. All right, so we're going to stir that, let that sit for a little while. And I'll bring you back when they're both done, and we'll try them out. All right, so they've both been sitting out now. Both have really come out really nice looking. Let's try them out. We're going to try the macaroni and cheese really quick. I'm going to give you a look at it. Yep. Tastes good, just like mac and cheese. Actually, really good. That's pretty darn good for mac and cheese from a container. The uh, stroganoff. Now, the stroganoff is good. 
I do want you to understand that this is flavored. There is no actual meat in here. Okay, and that's something that maybe you can add yourself as far as proteins go. Buy a canned little thing of beef and toss it in there. However you want to do it. However, just the food alone is pretty darn tasty. But remember, most of this stuff does not contain any kind of meat in it. This is all just gravies and sauces and noodles and, you know, flavoring. So it's not bad. Tastes really good. Got to try another one. That's actually really, really tasty. But there isn't any uh, any beef in it. It's just beef flavoring. So I got to say, you know, for the for the price, you are getting a pretty decent amount of food. It is good for set and forget. Again, you're paying for convenience. When people say, I could go to Walmart and buy, you know, 20 cans of Spam and two bags of rice and it'd be cheaper than that. Yeah, that's true. But as a non-prepper, as somebody who may be just a little concerned about what's going on in the world and doesn't want to put that much effort into it, heck, that is easy and that is convenient. So in the end, that's what you're paying for. You're paying for convenience. You're paying for them to actually package it and freeze dry it and get it all ready. Now, ReadyWise does make a meat bucket, a bucket with all the meats in it. They make a ton of other stuff. I'm going to leave you a link to uh, my uh, my bucket down below that uh, I have in my Amazon store. But I definitely want to say thank you to Angelo, who is one of our local subscribers here. His wife has a small homesteading channel. Uh, they're kind of getting off the ground. I'm going to see if I can find it again. Actually, I'm going to email him, and I will put it in the link down below after and let him know the video's up. And uh, she's just kind of getting started. Um, I believe when he dropped this off, he was taking her to Vegas to the hospital because she was pregnant. So she's probably not going to be updating the channel until the baby's done. But uh, I definitely want to say thank you to Angelo for bringing this over and letting us all kind of enjoy it and try it out and see what we like. I am probably going to be using this as a side from dinner tonight, whatever I make with dinner, because <laughs> it's pretty darn tasty. And this I'll probably just eat for lunch and uh, just enjoy it from there. I do have a lot left over, though. I mean, there is a lot of food in these. And like I said, if you're going to be making these for your family, that's great. You know, your family will eat it all in one sitting. If you're going to make these individually, you kind of have to package it out. You also have to remember that the noodles and the powder will be separated in the bag and the powder will settle to the bottom. So it might be a good idea to take the whole thing, dump it out into a thing and kind of portion it out that way, you know, into a bowl or something. So you get an yeah, adequate amount of powder and noodles all in one and that way you're good. Anyway, folks, thank you for joining me today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Good, uh, good Sunday morning cooking video. Like I said, the bucket itself will be, at least in the making of this video, 96 bucks. It will be in my Amazon store. Below the link for the bucket will be my Amazon store. Folks, if there's nothing in the store you like, just click the link, shop as you normally would on Amazon. We do appreciate when you do that. It really helps us out. We have our freeze-dried wholesaler link down below as well. If you're interested in adding some meats to any of something like this you may have stored, freeze-dried wholesaler is the place to go. You can get everything from bison to elk to, I mean, they have everything. Filet mignon, hamburger, everything. Right on Freeze Ray Wholesalers individually, and my link will save you 15%. Below that is our My Patriot Supply link. That's preparewithiridium.com. We have that awesome special three month kit of food, lots and lots of food, plus $200 off the kit and a free Alexa Pure water filter. Same water filter I'm using in my kitchen. It's a big stainless steel gravity water filter. And below that is our Thrive Life freeze dried food store. Anyway, thank you to Angelo and his family uh, for bringing this over and letting us try it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.